Hey guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I've got a new crochet tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make this basket and the cool thing about this basket is that I made it out of clothesline. So I'm going to show you all the details on how I did that. Um, and if you want, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you kind of how you can modify it to make this kind of basket. It's pretty much the same pattern, um, but it utilizes cotton yarn versus the rope. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video and I will explain all of that. So let's just get going on the tutorial. All right, guys, let's get started. So this is a clothesline that I picked up at Walmart. It's 100 feet, and I used two of these. So you're going to start with a magic circle. If you are unclear about how to start a magic circle, I'm doing one right here, but I do have a whole video dedicated to it. So if you need a refresher, I will have that linked. So here is our magic circle all set to go. We are going to do single crochets. We're going to do seven of them inside the magic circle. So here's number one. And I really wanted to show you how I was doing this with the rope because if I was just using standard yarn, um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how this could be a little bit different. So there's one and we're going to do seven single crochet. So single crochet is insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the two loops on your hook and that creates a single crochet when you are crocheting with a really thick um, yarn or an unconventional type of yarn uh, the less loops the better so you know a double crochet would be you know a little bit tricky I think to do with this thickness of a yarn so that's why I picked a single crochet for this basket pattern so we have one two, three, we're going to go ahead and complete seven single crochets inside this magic circle. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need one more single crochet ready, insert, yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through the two loops on the hook, and that's our single crochet. Now we have seven, so you can see that's kind of how it's looking. Then you're gonna pull on the free end, and it will tighten up. That's how the magic circle works so nicely. So then we are gonna slip stitch in the top chain of this one right here, that first single crochet that we did. We're gonna insert our hook, yarn over and this is just going to be a slip stitch so we're going to pull it through and just connect this circle sometimes a rope can be a little tricky um, to work with it's a little hard sometimes to get um, you know your hook in there so you'll get the hang of it so here we go we have our first round complete it's going to look like this now you're going to chain two one two and then we are going to put two single crochets in every stitch going all the way around so in this stitch right here right there we're going to put two single crochets in that stitch and we're going to do the same thing going all the way around so there we have the one and then the second one in the exact same single crochet stitch there we go there's number two in there you can kind of see how it's looking there's our turning chain and then one two and then we're going to do the same thing in the next one we're going to do the same thing all the way around here we go in hyper speed otherwise this would take forever <laughs> and again the rope might be a little bit difficult to work with if you have sensitive hands you might want to take little breaks and make sure that you give your hands a rest um, if it's a little bit difficult for you to work with but the good thing about this is that it works up really quickly so you're not crocheting with the rope for like a long amount of time or anything okay here we have our second single crochet in that last stitch so we did two single crochets in each stitch going all the way around that round and so then we're going to connect our round together you're not going to do the that turning chain but in that first that top chain there right there that one that's when you want to slip stitch to complete that round tighten everything up then we're going to chain two and we're going to do another round of increasing stitches so here's chain two and then we are going to do in this stitch right there 
we are gonna do two single crochets. So you want two stitches again in that stitch, and then we're gonna do one, and then we're gonna do another two. So don't worry, I will show you. But there is the first one, and then we're gonna have number two, single crochet, again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two loops. Oh, I got a little out of focus there. So that is single crochet. Next, we're gonna put one single crochet here. Get that single crochet, and then we're gonna do another two. So there I go, two going in there. And then you're gonna complete that going all the way around. So just to reiterate, two single crochets, then one, two, then one, two, then one, going all the way around. Here we go, this is how it should be looking. It's about you know the size of the palm of my hand. And uh, here we have our two, we have our one, then we're gonna have two single crochets in this stitch, and then we'll have one in that last guy. Okay, here we go, slip stitching our round together. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky with this rope, and I know, I know sometimes when you're using unconventional materials, sometimes things can look a little bit different. Um, so just kind of, you know, don't stress out too much. This is meant to be a really fun project, and I think it's gonna turn out really nice. Just, just keep going, keep practicing. So here we go, chain two. Then we are gonna go right here in this stitch right here. We're gonna do two single crochets, just like we did before. And I let my turning chain get a little loose on this round, so you can kind of see. Tighten up your rope kind of as you're crocheting, if you can, with your left hand. If you're crocheting with your right hand, um, it can kind of uh, just kind of help keep things a little bit tight, but not too tight. So we have two, and then we're gonna go, so we have two here, and then we're gonna do one here, one here, and then another two there. So we'll have two in the same stitch, and then we'll have two consecutive single crochets. So there we go, there's one, then we'll do another one here. And then we'll do two in the same stitch in the next one over, so two in this one. And then we're gonna do the same thing going all the way around. Okay, a little bit of a refresher here, same round. Two, two right in that stitch, one, and then another one, and then two. All right, and then do that all the way around. All right, now here is how it's looking. You can see it's getting nice and stiff, and it's gonna be a nice sturdy basket. So we are gonna finish up this round. Again, we did two. Uh, single crochet in the same stitch and then two consecutive single crochets. All right, and now we're finishing up this round and we will do the same thing. We're gonna connect our round and then we're gonna increase it again. So here we go. Now we're going to slip stitch. See, I kind of see that turning chain. I kind of let that turning chain be a little bit too loose. So you wanna get this guy over here, but no big deal. These kind of projects are always so forgiving and they turn out cute no matter what, even with little mistakes like that. All right, so there we go. Let's tighten everything down here. <laughs> and that's how it should be looking. And then we are gonna chain two, one, two, and we are going to increase again. So we're gonna put it in this one. See where that like first little guy, that first little stitch is, you wanna skip that one. You wanna kind of go in like the next stitch over. So pay close attention to that. If you're finding that you you have like a weird thing happening with your rounds, um, just check that. Make sure that you watch that part of the video and, and be putting it in the exact same one. So there's two. Then we're gonna do one, two, three, and then another two. All right, so two single crochet, then single crochet, three, then two single crochet. And we're gonna do that going all the way around.
Okay, here's a little recap to check yourself. You're gonna do two, one, two, three, and then two. So one, two, three, and then two in the same stitch right there. All right, and then you're gonna do that going all the way around. All right, now we have finished that round up and see the, that turning chain? I kind of made this one a little too tight now. <laughs> so just um, connect your chain and um, make sure that everything is nice and secure, no big deal. Now, this is how it should be looking. Yay. And really it doesn't take very long to get to this level. So what we're gonna do is now we are just going to start single crocheting in the same stitch going all the way around. So no need to chain two. We've just completed our stitch, our round, and then we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch going all the way around. So one in each one. And that is actually gonna help start forming the wall of our basket. So um, here we go, just a single crochet in each one going all the way around. So this will take you a little bit of time. Um, it really only took me maybe an hour to make this entire basket. It took me quite a bit longer to make the uh, minty colored one that you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, but this one actually worked up really quick. You can kind of see how it's gonna start making the walls of the basket. And here I am, I, want, I wanted to give you like a little bit of a zoomed out view so that you can see how I'm using it with this hook and um, just kind of how it's going together. You're gonna just keep going all the way around. You can kind of see how it's starting to build up the sides. Now, you will need to add more rope. So this is how I'm gonna do it for this project because it's gonna be really difficult to knot, which is kind of what I normally do. So what I'm gonna do is insert my hook, put the new rope on the hook and pull it through. Okay, now make sure everything is tightened down on both sides, you know, both parts of the rope, the old and the new. Then we're gonna take our new rope, yarn over and pull it through the two loops, just like the single crochet. Just make sure everything is tightened down then. So you've got your single crochet right there. You don't even notice that it's a new rope. And then what you're gonna do is as you're crocheting along, you want to like incorporate those ends as you go because it's gonna be harder to weave those ends in. And because they have that burnt edge, it's gonna be a little bit harder to hide that part. So as you're going along, just kind of weave those in as you go and that will help you hide it and you won't have to worry about it later on. Okay, so now here we go. We are finishing up our sides. You can see it's actually looking like a basket now, which is exciting. So as we did this, you'll notice the inside of the basket is kind of like the right side of the crochet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it so that the right side is on the outside, which is the part that will be kind of more visible on the side. You don't have to do this, it's totally personal preference, but you can just kind of see there where it's a little bit more uniform because it's the right side of the basket. So assuming you put stuff in the basket, you won't really see the insides as much. So that's what I'm gonna do about this stage of the basket. That way I can kind of continue going around and shape it as I need to. Um, this basket is really nice and sturdy, which is great. So here we have a single crochet. Then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do a slip stitch because we're gonna be finishing up the, uh, you can see that's the end of the rope there, the end of the clothesline. So I did one slip stitch and then I'm gonna do one more slip stitch and pull it through. And then what you can do is use a smaller crochet hook to weave in those ends or use your fingers, um, just whatever works best. And then you can trim the ends if you want to or you can burn them like, like done here so they don't fray too much. And then you're all set. The great thing about the clothesline is that you can hose it off so you could use it outside. So that's a really great fun summer option for these baskets. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that it gives you tons of ideas um, here I am kind of weaving it in and you can see those ends where you want to weave those in. So I hope you guys had so much fun. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or you have future video requests, leave that in the comment section below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. That really helps to spread the word and I really appreciate your support. I also love, 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 love 
to see your projects. So tag me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Those are like the main places that you can find me. You can also use the hashtag Melanie Ham, and that way I can kind of like keep track and find you guys and find your projects. Um, but I love to see what you guys are doing. So be sure to share your projects. Well, any projects with me, the baskets, of course, but any of my projects, I'd love to see what you guys are doing. And for the modification, so this is pretty much the exact same pattern. I will have this written out over on my blog with some extra pictures and I'll have that linked below. But this is basically two strands together of peaches and cream cotton yarn. And so you are gonna need to use an L hook, which is an eight millimeter hook because you're using the two strands together. So you need an L hook, two strands, just you'll need two skeins to make this project. Um, now this, I kind of like folded it over because it gets, it, you know, it stands up, but it gets a little floppy. Uh, so which is why the rope is really nice or any sort of real sturdy twine, um, even leather or different types of materials like that where you really have that sturdy weight to it. So, but this is how it will look with two strands of the peaches and cream cotton yarn. So the directions will be linked in the description box for the rope, basket, everything will be down below or you can check out my blog for the modification. Um, I will have all the details down there. You can find everything that you need and all of the instructions and things like that. So be sure to check that out. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this project and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.